William Wordsworth was born in Cumberland, in northwest England. He was Britain's poet laureate from 1843 until his death in 1850. He was one of the leading figures of the Romantic movement in English literature. In 1798, Wordsworth co published The Lyrical Ballads along with Samuel Taylor Coleridge. Wordsworth wrote his poems in simple language. His poems frequently dealt with nature and human beings' relationship to natural elements. He is best known for The Tintin Abbey, The Solitary Reaper, Daffodils, and Lucy poems. A slumber did my spirit seal comes from his Lucy poems. In this poem, the poet depicts the state of his beloved after death. He consoles himself by imagining her to be a part of earth and its natural rhythms. Let's see what happens in A Slumber Did My Spirit Seal by William Wordsworth. The poem is layered. It contains many possible meanings. Take a look at the opening lines, for instance. A slumber did my spirit seal. I had no human fears. There are many interpretations for these lines. One interpretation is that Wordsworth is in a deep sleep. Sleep is a metaphor for one's ignorance of what is happening in the world. So, for that brief moment, he is free from any human fears. Another interpretation is that he is unaware of his beloved's death. Therefore, he can feel no shock, pain or grief. The poem then takes a turn with the next lines. Wordsworth is now awake and aware of his beloved's death. He says, She seemed a thing that could not feel the touch of earthly years. He consoles himself by saying that his beloved is now at peace. She is free from life and its troubles. Age cannot touch her now. She is also at rest. There is no life in her body. She cannot hear or see anything. As Wordsworth puts it, No motion has she now, no force. She neither hears nor sees. Even though she has no life, she is now a part of the earth and its rocks, stones and trees. As one with the earth, she now moves along with the earth as it completes its daily rotation. So, Wordsworth seems to look at death as a good thing. For him, death is what allows his beloved to become one with nature. Like in most of his poems, Wordsworth's Adoration for nature is very clear. Now, let us look at the literary elements of the poem. A slumber did my spirit seal. The phrases spirit seal and rolled round are examples of alliteration in the poem. The poet uses these phrases to create a rhythmic effect in the poem. Wordsworth repeats the word no to emphasize on his beloved's state of rest after death. In a poem, enjambment happens when a line runs over to the next one without any punctuation. The line, She seemed a thing that could not feel, the touch of earthly years, is an example of enjambment in the poem. A slumber did my spirit seal. I had no human fears. She seemed a thing that could not feel the touch of earthly years. No motion has she now, no force. She neither hears nor sees. Rolled round in earth's diurnal course, with rocks and stones and trees. The words at the end of each line alternately rhyme with each other. Let's assign A, B, C and D. To the alternate rhyming words. So, the rhyme scheme of the poem is A, B, A, B, C, D, C, D. Mm -hmm.